Well, each Christmas, area soup kitchens like St. John's in Newark switch up the daily routine and put out a holiday feast for visitors. Organizers say the need is greater than any other time in recent history. The state's three major food banks already reported giving out double the annual amount of food typically distributed to church and pantries across the state. Newark has been especially hard hit by the pandemic, but that didn't stop volunteers from showing up to help their neighbors in need. Leah Mishkin reports as part of our ongoing series, Hunger in New Jersey. I think a lot of issues that people deal with, it begins with hunger. That's why David German has been volunteering at St. John's Soup Kitchen in Newark for nearly three decades. Here's a chance for me in a small way to be able to help those in need. The day of Christmas Eve is usually a big event. Tents, music, hundreds of volunteers. In 2020 and the era of the pandemic, all of it had to be canceled. That's why we're putting it the best we can today with about 10 people. Besides the hot meal, we're giving out socks, clothing, toiletries. It's just a nice feeling. Here you go, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, you guys. Holiday Express assembled the duffel bags, and they're age appropriate, uh, gender appropriate for men, women, girls, and boys. For the children, there's probably, uh, there's toys inside the bag, books, and so forth. The community needs us. It means a lot because a lot of the other agencies are closed because they would rather be with their family and friends, which is reasonable. So them being here means a lot and I appreciate it. Isaiah Carter is here because he's homeless. I tried to go to college and then I didn't have enough money. And then I, it started becoming a problem at home. I couldn't really do anything because I just didn't have like any resources or enough motivation, whatever the cases was, it just it didn't work. I wasn't getting along with my family and I ended up on the streets. Figuring out where to take a shower and sleep are on his mind daily. But he says this soup kitchen offers him a place he can count on for a meal. This is life or death. If I don't come here, I got to eat out of trash can or I got to go steal and commit crimes and I'm going to end up in jail. The need for our volunteer work is more extreme than ever. You're not just serving a meal. You're also serving love. You're serving friendship as well, too. Being able to help give people the basics like food, clothing, and shelter is why Cindy Paterno has been volunteering for 26 years. They're going to have the, the wherewithal to get themselves on their feet, become productive members of society. This is near and dear to my heart. It's my family. This work is not only important on a day like today, but it's important all year round. Life deals everyone different circumstances at different moments. Knowing there are people willing to be there during those times. It means a lot. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News. Funding for Hunger in New Jersey has been provided by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, working with others to build a national culture of health that provides everyone in America a fair and just opportunity for health and well-being.